For March 22nd to 28th, our daily positivity rate of PCR tests ranged from 21.7% to 27.1%, with an average of 24.5%. This is a slight increase from the 22% average in the previous seven days. The wastewater surveillance data also shows signs of rising transmission. A number of sites across the province, including Edmonton and Calgary, are showing initial signs of increasing trends. However, as we know, wastewater data can be highly variable, so we will continue to monitor these levels and other leading indicators in the coming days and coming weeks. Given that we have lifted the vast majority of public health measures over the last seven weeks, it is not unexpected that we are seeing a slight increase in transmission of COVID across the province. There are simply more opportunities for the virus to spread as more and more people work from the office, return to traveling, socialize in various settings, and resume their regular routines. This is especially true as BA2 Omicron subvariant is a dominant strain in Alberta and is shown to be more transmissible than BA1. Our lab has found that around 70% of all positive PCR test samples are now BA2. Fortunately, the available evidence does not so far suggest that it causes more severe illness than the previous Omicron strain. At this point, we continue to have capacity in the health system to address the other surgical and medical needs of Albertans. Since our update last week, hospitalizations have remained stable. There are currently six, or sorry, 964 people in hospital with COVID-19, including 47 in the ICU. Sadly, lives are still being lost to this disease. Over the last week, 30 deaths related to COVID-19 have been reported to Alberta Health. This averages just over four per day. My deepest sympathies go out to the loved ones of these Albertans. My sympathies are also with anyone who has lost someone they care about, no matter the cause. Even as we transition our approach to managing COVID, we know that the virus is still very much with us. It can still cause serious illness, complications, and even death for some Albertans. That's why we continue to promote vaccination, encourage individuals to make decisions that best suit their unique situation and risk tolerance, and invest in treatments like Paxlovid. As you may recall, Paxlovid is the first COVID-19 treatment approved by Health Canada that can be taken orally at home. It was first approved for use in Canada in late January, but due to limited supply, it was initially only available at 135 pharmacies across the province. I'm pleased to report that as supply has increased beginning this Friday, any interested pharmacy in Alberta will be able to order Paxlovid treatments to dispense Paxlovid to eligible Albertans who have met the clinical criteria. As a reminder, Albertans who meet the eligibility criteria which is available only by prescription, must call HealthLink to access the treatment. Staff will ask screening questions to confirm eligibility and arrange the next steps for getting the most appropriate COVID-19 treatment. Please do not call pharmacies or physicians directly to get a prescription as they will be unable to give it to you. Paxlovid must be started within five days of symptoms. So if you are, el if you are eligible, do not wait to see how things develop. Call HealthLink as soon as possible. If you aren't sure if you are eligible, visit the AHS website to read the criteria. While Paxlova continues to be an option to prevent mild or moderate cases of COVID-19 from progressing to severe disease, it is not a substitute for vaccination. Vaccination remains the most effective way to prevent severe cases of COVID-19 and reduce the risks that come with getting infected. So if you have not received every dose available to you, please do so as soon as possible.